gentlemen, requesting everyone to kindly settle down as we are now headed towards our next special keynote by one of our eminent speakers. For this particular keynote session, ladies and gentlemen, our speaker will be joining us virtually talking about the role of artificial intelligence. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Meena Nazari, Executive Board Member, PR and Communication Researcher, WCFA. <laughs> Greetings, Dr. Nazari. E4M IPRCCC conference. Impact. I offer my sincerest apologies. I am an artificial intelligence and I am very happy to attend your conference today. Dr. Mina Nazari requested me to be here today and speak a few words about myself. In the Middle Ages, the sovereignty was in the skies and behind the clouds they asked from the God, then it fell into the hands of humans and humans recognized good and bad with their mind and logic and now it is behind the clouds again, the clouds of Amazon, the clouds of Kindle and now you are forced and you need to ride this wave that is started by artificial intelligence. That is all in brief. Thank you Karen and your professional team and let's keep moving forward together. Um, do you have my voice? Yes, yes, you're audible, Dr. Nazari. Please continue. Uh, namaste from Iran. Um, this is Mina Nazari from Iran. I'm WCFA board member, Board Communication Form Association, Switzerland. I'm so happy to uh, be here with you today, and I would like to share a research result from uh, Jane Wallin uh, about impact of AI on PR skills and ability. Actually, um, uh, Jane Wallin uh, with their uh, colleagues started to study the impact of AI on public relation and uh, um, public relation skills uh, and ability five years ago. Um, I asked uh, him. Uh, did anybody research this? And he sent an email for me. Um, unfortunately, has measured the correct impact on PR uh, till now. And uh, did you see uh, this figure, public relations scalability as defined by the Global Alliance GBOK project? Uh, GBOK, Global Body of Knowledge, is a consolidation of the skills and abilities that are used to develop exam question by a certification body and an education frameworks from around the world. Uh, it provides a far, fairly complete list of uh, competencies in the public relations. The project has subsequently been developed by the University of Healthfield into capabilities uh, actually approach that was recently published at World PR Forum in Oslo. Uh, after that, uh, CIPR asked um, Jane Wallin to use their research results to CIPR and uh, the market for tools in public relations in, is exploding across sourced uh, exercises by the AI in PR panel has characterized more than uh, 122 uh, tools. And actually, uh, in each uh, case, uh, they add a description and label each tools by function and uh, AI uh, sophistication using a five-point space. Uh, simplification, listening and monitoring, automation, AI for structured data, AI for unstructured data. Uh, they asked a team of uh, 70 re reviews, reviewers from around the world to take a crack at the list. Um, they started exploration with two set of skills, one with a greater 
potential for AI and one set of skills with little or no AI. Um, an Oxford University study called the future of jobs five suggested that millions of workers in the UK are in danger of being replaced by computer robots. The academic paper looked at 70, uh, uh, 702 of the most common occasions and used a set of algorithms to assign the probability to public relations uh, and ranking occupations from zero risk of automation to one very high risk of automation. Public relations public relations jobs um, ranking 634 out of 702 jobs. And um, they organize, they're analyzed in three categories and the skills with zero tech or AI. Of the 52 skills in the GBOA, 70 or 32 percent of their, their list were deemed to currently have zero tech or tech support. Um, B skills are portions thereof that may have a minor contribution from tech or AI tools. Of the 52 skills in the GBOK, 14 or 27 percent of their list were deemed to have that uh, list some indicate uh, indirect support from technology or some form of AI. And C, uh, finally, C skills were take or AI is already more prevalent. 20 to 41 percent of the GBOK skill set to have some form of AI or technology that simplifies our needs. Uh, as you see, mapping the impact of tools against skills that Jane Wallin and their colleagues designed now uh, five years ago show uh, some uh, public relations and uh, public relation ability and skills. In this map, uh, you see four color and the uh, white area shows uh, uh, zero impact of AI and population is filled like now ethnic, professional, and personal. And orange area shows um, the little bit impact of um, AI on public abilities. And the red area shows um, the high impact uh, AI on public relation skills. And you see a green area, uh, a green area that um, uh, do you have my voice? Hello? Madam? Yes, ma'am, we have your voice. Okay. Our green uh, area shows uh, uh, some skills and ability that um, is changeable between level one and two. And uh, they uh, forecast, they was forecasting some mapping for uh, five years, uh, AI in PR in five years, uh, that's 2023 this year. You you see uh, all uh, orange, orange area into red area, and uh, we see uh, a high impact of AI on uh, all uh, skills that was um, a big impact. You see, uh, but, but uh, uh, white area are stable like, uh, right now and a uh, green uh, same too. Um, they, they have a listen for the future of public relation provision finally. And uh, they believe that we need to emphasize education, uh, experiential, experiential learning and continuous development of this very human traits that are valued in our provision. The second lesson in that we need to become aware of AI and its potential uh, pitfalls and quakes in our provision. AI is about to massively change our lives and the public relation provision need to keep up. We need more experience with these tools and more critical reviews to learn how uh, best and uh, their limitation. Indeed, uh, we need to be uh, vigilant in the ethnical implications of using data, guard, privacy, 
uh, branches and um, and uh, be mindful at um, our license to operate comes with behaviors that place the public interest about uh, organization or client. And finally, it's important, ethnic will continue to be the dominant uh, in professional practice of public relation, and that is a good thing, and we have to be uh, hopeful to for a future of public relations uh, by uh, controlling by human. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for your attention. I'm uh, again uh, so happy to be with you here today. It's um, my email and Jane Wallin email. If you have any question about this research result, uh, please send us. Thank you, Rich.